Good morning. It's um, Thursday, the 28th of May, 2020. And I'm just going to go around and do some short videos of updates on what's been going on around the bee yards. And this is the nuke at the remote location. There's been bees hatching in here. And there's been a lot more activity coming and going from this box. So I'm not even going to open them up. I'm just going to leave them be. Let them do their job. Alright, so here I am down at Norman's Apiary. And there's a nuke sitting there. And I'm going to tell you a story about this hive here with the purple entrance. So, I don't know, two and a half weeks ago I checked in here and there was a number of queen cells being formed and they were getting ready to swarm because the box was just packed with bees. So, and I just happened to spot the queen. So I took the queen and three frames of uh, brood and bees and I put them in another box and I took them up to my place. And then I just left them to finish off their queen cells. So last Thursday, we looked in here, Norman and I looked in here and there were three frames with queen cells on them, swarm cells. And one frame had five cells on it by itself. The other two frames had one each. So we did a little creative beekeeping. So this nuke here, uh, <clears throat> well, I'll get around and I'll open it up and show you what I did. But I took the, the frame of five queen cells and a couple other frames of bees and brood and I put them in a nuke and I took them up to my place. And then I got another nuke, which is this one here. And I took three frames of bees out of my hive three, which is my swarm hive. Uh, and I cut, used a razor knife and I cut two queen cells off the bottom of the frame that we had found in this other box. And I attached them to a frame in this box here. This is from the, the swarm hive. And just to see if we could get another queen raised here. So let me go around and uh, I'll pull that frame out and show you where I put them. Box open here and I'm going to pull a frame out that I put the queen cells on. Still. So I took my hive tool and I took the two queen cells that I took off the frame that had the five cells on it. And I took my hive tool and I scraped up a bit of the wax on each corner here and I sort of mooshed the top of the queen cell into that wax. They reattached them and this one over here has hatched and the other one has been chewed out. So there is a new queen in here. We spotted it yesterday. And so all we have to do is wait for her to get out and get mated. But I'm not going to try and find her right now because there's so many bees in here. Small box here is a split I did from my New Zealand hive. They were looking to swarm and I couldn't find the queen. So I actually took six frames of bees and brood and swarm cells out of my New Zealand hive and I put them in here and I replaced those frames in the New Zealand hive with uh, just empty comb and there's a new queen in this box now too she's one of them has hatched out and so she needs to get out in a mating flight and get mated so 
also wanted to show you while I was down here at Norman's this bush and I don't know what it's called is full of honeybees they're after whatever whatever's in those little red flowers there's also bumblebees in here but there's honeybees everywhere in here collecting there's another bumblebee I'd like to have some of this up at our place Yeah, just full. All right, a couple of last items. So this is the nuke that I took the frame with the five queen cells and put them in here. And one of the cells, and you can see it lying right there. It got knocked off. I guess when I put the, the frame in there, I knocked it loose and it was exposed. So I set it aside, but that left four cells. So when I showed you the two cells that I cut off of the frame and put in that other nuke, and there were two remaining cells in on the frame, and one of them was hatched and the other one has been torn down. So there's a new queen in here as well. And so we just have to get some decent weather for them to get out and mate. And we'll be off to the races again. Now this is the box that uh, I put Norman's Queen into. I put some extra frames in there, some extra bees, just to help them uh, build up a little quicker. And they seem to be doing pretty good. And this is the uh, nuke that um, I brought back from the Living the Dream Farm. They have a new queen in there, but I don't think she's gotten out and made it either because the weather hasn't been that great. And I noticed, I looked in here the other day, I noticed that there was a puddle of water in the bottom because the rain has been seeping in through the top. So I took this aluminum sheet and I just put it over the top to help protect it a bit. And of course this is a New Zealand box. And even though it's dark and cloudy, they're still quite active. And now the plan, this is the hive three is the swarm hive that I got last year. And they've been kind of uppity. So I don't know if it's the queen breeding or what, but if you saw my last video about this hive, you'll see how nasty they got when I got down into the, into the brood chamber. And uh, so my plan is the little nuke that's down at uh, Norman's, waiting for the queen to mate. Uh, I want to take that queen and I want to put her in here because I'm pretty sure that's uh, an Italian queen that's in that, in that nuke because she came from an Italian parent. And hopefully that will calm these girls down. And I'll find the queen in here and I'll take her out and I'll just put her in another nuke with some bees just, to, just in case that uh, they don't like the new queen. So we'll see how that goes, but that's going to be a future video. Uh, so that's all I got for today. If you look up, it's overcast again. It was nice yesterday, and it's overcast again. That storm out in the Pacific just does not want to go away. Yeah. And it's supposed to rain again today. So hopefully things will clear up soon. And I noticed uh, up here, our big flow is going to happen pretty soon. These are the wild blackberries. You can see one is in bloom, but you can see the blooms popping out here. And within a week, this is going to be covered with bees. And they're going to be going crazy, collecting nectar from this. And that seems to be the time of year around here when we get quite a bit of honey. And that's when they draw out frames and the whole shooting match. So hopefully the weather will smarten up and uh, allow them to do that. And the other thing is these are black-eyed Susans. 
that uh, we put in here last year they're coming along nicely but they won't be ready until probably mid-august and we have various herbs in here and these are almost done these are the bachelor buttons these really like them too we have a lot of them here but they're almost done for this year and over here at the uh, the greenhouse you got some daisy style plants and I don't know if the the bees are gonna be attracted to them but if you look down I don't know if the camera will get that but you can see those yellow dots in there that's probably pollen so if the bees find these they may just collect stuff from them and the dianthus and I believe this is Elysium. Just little tiny pink and white flowers there. Bees like them too. But the one thing we have noticed is in here in the greenhouse, we've got some kale that's gone to seed. Oop. And there's a honeybee over there in their back collecting stuff. And two days ago, this uh, this place was full of honeybees in here collecting uh, pollen and stuff off of these kale flowers. And I think what I might do is take some of that and put it outside so they have easier access to it because they have to get in here when the uh, when the windows are open at the top. But they seem to know their way in and out quite quite easily. All right, so that's it for today. Hope you're all having a good day. And uh, we'll be back again. Do an update when uh, I do some more inspections and stuff. So, bye for now. And uh, we'll talk to you again soon.